can't say hello peeps of the world. How should I start my videos? My thing. When did you start doing that? No, I can't say hello peeps of the world. What should I say instead? Oh. You say that, so I can't say that. So, maker gamers. Maker gamers? Yeah. I don't think they're making games. Maker. Maker clankers? Maker clankers. I don't like it. Yeah. Because clanker is like. Hey, clanky. So, do you know where the word um, tinker comes from? So in the, uh, I can't remember if it's 20s, 30s, or 40s, there was a job of a person that would go around, uh, had a big wagon, usually before cars, so probably yeah. sooner than, you know, 40s. Um, and his sole purpose, or her sole purpose, was to repair cooking things, pots, pans, all that stuff. And Tinker came from the noise of all the pots and pans Tink, 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 I, I think it, I think it comes from like the dude, like in Majora's Mask, that has all the masks. That's probably where they find like, it. Imagine, from. imagine one of those with a bunch of pots and pans. Yeah, I've seen one. Yeah, like that. Okay, let's let's do some intro. Hey, maker clinkers. So today, uh, for probably almost the last three hours, we to look. <laughs> we made a mopeta. I'm gonna call this the skeleton. So you're about to see a video of us figuring out this. So what I did was I took this model, 3D off Thingiverse, and it has a body underneath it. Can you give me the body underneath it? Oh, the body. Um, so I printed this as a toy to sit on my desk because I really infatuated with the uh, the Mopeta. It's a three-wheeled 50cc car. There was only like 14 ever made in the world in Europe, and there's only like five real ones left, but people make replicas of them all the time. So here we are. I want one. I have a moped with a donor engine here that'll go right there. And now that we know how big this is, we're gonna make this into a mold for the fiberglass body. And I'm gonna make the body, or the frame I should say, the chassis of the moped up, sit in here. So now I have dimensions. I could scale it up on 3D and I could make a big piece of paper and I could do all that, but I needed something to make the, 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 the fiberglass mold. Uh, this is the um, full size that it should be whenever I'm done. I may have to change the dimensions a little bit for this, but that really does look like a moped wheel, doesn't it? Like, yeah, I think, we're, one, you know? I think we're pretty good on the moped wheel, so it's probably going to be the moped engine with the, uh, with the wheel, and I don't know how, depending on how the moped's set up and how I have to do the exhaust and the step start, because the kick start's gonna be the key. Whichever side of the moped engine the kick starts on, and I can't remember off the top of my head, that's the side the engine will have to be on, because I still wanna be able to kick start it if the electric start doesn't work. Because this moped, this moped, this mopeda will have moped, modern moped, uh, GY6 motor and wheels and all that stuff for the steering and all that stuff. So it's gonna have a, things that the Mopeta didn't ever have. It's gonna have electric start. It's gonna have a speedometer. It's gonna have an odometer. It's gonna have a gas gauge. It's gonna have all sorts of modern things. So mine is gonna be called the Mobeta. So I never introduced this guy. This is Man Without a Plan, my son. Hi. That one guy, what's your number? What's your answer? F5G6. F5G6. Gamer tag. It's a gamer tag, right? Gamer tag. Um, so you've probably seen me in a couple of his videos. I'll put a link below um, to his channel. Funny stuff, he exploded. Uh, my favorite one so far is he stomped on a bag of uh, liquid cheese yeah. dip. And even though he stomped on it on his foot, hair, just just splatter. Just, it, it bounced off one foot and just went spray. So awesome. Um, and then he did, like, he's now got this, this is his new year, new him look. Yeah. So he's got a video on that too. I'm really excited about making this because I meant to do this in January of 2020. 
And it's not that I didn't do it because of COVID, it's because February 1st, on my clock coming up pretty soon, a year ago, I actually bought a 1967 Volkswagen Type 3 Squareback, my car named Huey. If you follow my Instagram and stuff, you've seen all the changes I've done to Huey. Huey is fast becoming a, well, let's just say an intelligent car. You can talk to him, you can, he'll answer simple questions and even complex ones because he's got a, kind of got a little Google backend so I can make it query Google if it doesn't know something. But eventually he'll be tied into the whole system. So I'll be able to ask him, do you need fuel? Do you need all this stuff? And he'll be able to answer me from literally anywhere. Maybe my watch? Kit, help me. But until then, we will, um, you'll see that video later. But until then, the moped is gonna go somewhere in my shed or garage and you'll see updates from that because last year I also meant to start a YouTube channel and actually started posting videos and the only thing I got done was a tennis ball on a string. So I need to kick it up a notch this year. <laughs> so now we have to sort the Y's. So whatever it is, he's over here. Sure. We're gonna, the idea is that we're going to put this together to get the full size frame. Mm -hmm. Then I take the motor and drive wheel off the moped and size it up and then we build the frame to fit inside of this. That makes sense. Yeah. So that we know how big we need to be. And then this becomes a skeletal frame for all the, fra the scrap, all the scrap wood is going to be cut to shape this. How are you? So there's four sections. So I've taken the design and I've cut it in four. Yeah. So one, two, three, four. We're gonna assemble all four. Yeah. It won't stand up properly, so we're gonna do some clear tape. Yeah. And it should hold it. Yeah, I grab it. Okay. It's right in the door. Um, and once it's all taped together, it'll actually flatten itself whenever we don't need it until we add the wood. Once the wood's in place to hold it up, yeah. then we take the blue or the pink insulation foam and the pink insulation foam gives it the body for, I think it's called the buck of the fiberglass mold because we're gonna make a fiberglass body super smooth and that's gonna be the, uh, the mold and then we have to reverse that and then that's gonna be the actual mold. Like we're gonna have to do it three times yeah. for fiberglass. Because I wanna be able to repeat this. The, the, we gotta get the positive, then, get the positive, then make the negative, negative and, then and then that the negative positive. becomes the mold. Yeah. Um, the key will be that we can repeat it. Yeah. Because someday something else might want one, or maybe we want a second one. Yeah. Right? So that's what we're building. So check it out, give it a little, like turn it so we can, yeah. So that is the back. So on this model, the engine bay is on this side. I changed it. I swapped it, I reversed the file. So this, this looks like it's this quarter, but it's actually gonna be on this side of the mopeda because my moped engine will sit over here. Okay, the so now we need the seven and the six. 
That's why it goes like this because it has to be interior and outterior. Okay. Now we're getting it. There I'm loving this. Okay. Okay, so what do we need next? A seven? Oh, yeah, we need a seven and a six. On the, the Y or the Z? The Now we got to do three more quarters, and now we understand. Is the back or the front? Oh this wait, no, that's the, the back. back because you can see the two notches. And this is the wheel well. Yeah. No, so this know. big round thing is the wheel well. Yeah, I mean, like you see one notch. And then is the headlight? Is the of these ones. Is so the, the um, two more notches in the back? Yeah, that's the yeah. license plate holder, which my car will not have. It'll have a notch, but it won't have a big flat area. So that's the front end. Let me spin this around a little bit. Oh, uh, that's the front bubble. Should be. Yeah, let's uh, let's start. To, yeah, let's start putting them all together. Do we take the back halves together? Uh, it might be easier for us to do the take this one to here and then take this one to here and then so it's all gonna be one giant piece. It'll all be okay. one giant piece. Okay. So we need this piece. Let's right here first. Yeah. <clears throat> And really, it's only taped that thing. Like, we may not be able to tape them correctly. Here, let me sit down. Okay. Oh, it's fine. Let's see, we're only going to be able to tape one thing on that side because of the motor. Yeah. So let's, yeah, let's tape them together real quick. Now we should be able to take this along here. Look well, at that. You know what it looks like right now? Giant clown shoe. This looks <laughs> like a, the peanut from uh, Oh, uh, ah! Yeah. My face is like, this is my favorite in the world. That one goes right there. I took it off because we're going to cut All that right. off. All the little accoutrements, like this, the mirror socks, yeah. the light, I'm going to have to cut all them off. Here we go. So, it only took us about 13 days. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was like, what, an hour and a half? <laughs> when, ooh, what time did we start? It's 2.40. <coughs> Starting around 1, so about an hour no. 40. No? We started no, around we got done around. Started right, right here. Okay, yeah. so two and a half hours. Uh, but, that's only because the first half hour was us trying to figure out the dimensions. Yeah. I should have printed the pictures, but I didn't. Yeah. My fault. So what I did was I took... This model is a little 3D printed model from Thingiverse. Um, turned it into the cardboard skeleton you see here, 
through um, Slicer from Fusion, and it and then the motor right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the um, in fact the motor may end up over there, but that's okay because I can just round this off. Um, so here's what we're going to do. This is now the skeleton we need to make the fiberglass body. So next step will be to give this an internal wooden frame and then pink foam inserts. I might even do try spray foam and just shave it. Yeah. The spray foam or pink foam, probably a mixture of both, will be shaved with a big sitting point here, right? <clears throat> Into two pieces. So we're going to cut it. We're going to cut the mold in half because this starts drooping down. This is a wheel, all this stuff, so that we can pop it apart. So we're going to do positive, negative, and the positive of the next one will be the, the piece we need of fiberglass. So it's going to definitely take some time. Ta-da! Switch it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Next week, maybe in a couple of days, I'll post another video. It may not be the moped every time. My goal is to have it done by, say, Christmas of 2021. So we will see. Um, I think the hardest part will be making, once I get the, the form done, it will be all the sanding and layers of, of fiberglass. I'll have to wear a paper suit and a mask, and I'm not gonna actually be able to start any real fiberglass work until it gets a little bit warmer, because it's currently like 30 degrees out for the next two, three weeks. And it's gonna take a lot of that material, so I'm gonna have to get parts over time so I can you know, do that. So that's the giant puzzle we did today. Thanks for watching, and keep on tinkering. Whenever you build it like this, well, I don't know what it looks like anyway, so oh, we can help with that. That was me, Pop. Minus this, and I chopped out this chunk and this chunk. Yeah.